well, half an elephant if I can say this. <laughs> just half an elephant there. Um, and it's just busy feeding on the branches and everything else around it. So now it is a bit hard for me to quite understand what it is. I think it's a male. I can't really see the forehead from here. But now that we're able to see it in infrared, which amazes me at just how incredible this technology is, I believe this might be a boy that's in must. So, funny enough, it was just walking on the side of the road, very thick vegetation, and we only saw it the very last minute. So, I actually think that just out of safety, well, he is quite chilled, but if he does decide to come into this area, I am just might just move a little bit further off into the parallel road to us, which is about five meters away, so we can give it a bit of a breather. Mark, you're wondering if elephants ever sleep lying down or if they do it standing up. Well, they can do it both ways. They don't sleep as much as some of the other creatures that are around in the African bush. But um, roughly they'll sleep for a few hours every day and they can... I think maybe I'm gonna... Alright, just gonna move a little bit, see if perhaps we get a better view of this Ellie. Uh, but yes, they can sleep lying down and often you will see the little ones lying down and the mothers all around them in a circle and If not, then you'll see them pretty much almost in a semi sleepy state standing up Often during the hot part of the days we see them like that I think we're gonna maybe have a bit of a much better view from here. So yay one elephant the whole afternoon We've been seeing Ellie's for the last or Ellie tracks for the last three days and finally We're able to look at one of them. So very excited for all of us This might signal the return of the elephants to beautiful Juma Although, Well, not really the return because they have been around. We just haven't been able to see all of them. Hello. So I, I am a bit more inclined of thinking that this elephant has been under somewhat a bit of a stressful situation. And by stressful, I mean it could very well be um, that he's in must just because of the secretion on the temporal glands. Although, looking at you, let's have a bit of a better look with this binoculars. So this gland that they've got on the sides of their forehead, they, where you see that almost looks like a tear behind the eyes, normally it's, a lot of people call it the emotion gland. An emotion because when elephants are feeling a very strong emotion, it can be stress, it can be something good, they tend to um, secrete a substance from, the, from their temples. Now, this actually looks more like a female than anything else, so I think maybe I have actually completely misjudged the situation thanks to the dark, as you've got a very pointy s square head, but also some very obvious mammary glands up in front. Hmm. So I wonder, would you be alone? Let's have a look at your forehead. Hmm. So it, there is an easy way of determining if an e elephant is a female or a male, just by looking at their forehead. If it is a pointy forehead, then it's a female. If it's a much rounder forehead, then it is a male. Are you saying yes? Oh, wonderful to see an elephant. I think we haven't been able to see one uh, in <laughs> quite a few days, and we have definitely been trying. So wonderful that now that we've got these infrared technology that allows them to see them during the night with absolutely no damage to them. Because had it been under normal circumstances, then we would have pretty much not been able to see it because we don't shine the spotlights at the diurnal animals for fear of impacting on their eyesight up to a certain level. So we are getting very spoiled with some very nice technology. and We're able to see what they're up to during the night. Sorry, Megan, can you just repeat that question again from Alison? Alison, you said that you thought must time was over. Well, there's not a particular time for must. Um, the 
they sometimes it may seem that they they get it more a bit during the the summer times just because maybe more females will be coming into estuaries or there are also some other researchers that point that it happens during the winter time so that when they give birth eventually it's going to be synchronized with um with the rainy season however there's no proof for any of these things what we do know is that once a year male elephants go into the state of must which is a heightened sexual state where they there's a lot of protein that's being pumped through their system and they're desperately looking for females to mate with so it lasts anything between well i would say approximately about three months but um like we said there's no there isn't a necessary time when they come into must or a necessary season so elephants are are not seasonal breeders so it can happen pretty much any time during the year Adele, you're wondering how long does must last for? Well, must normally last between 1 and 3 months. Depends on different situation specific situation sometimes it might be a little bit less uh, but I would say one to three months is in general what the researchers point that must can last up to and sometimes it, it is considered to be a bit of a um, like anti-breeding strategy or evolutionary strategy between the elephants because it'll give the s sometimes the smaller elephants are a bit feistier than the bigger ones because they are in this almost like very crazy sexual frenzy that they're looking for females to mate with and they just want to advertise their dominance in every possible way that it gives a um, it gives elephants a bit of a chance of having a bigger genetic pool of mixing of genes because the smaller ones that might not get a chance to breathe and might be able then to breathe with females by pushing other males away. Jim Lin, you're wondering what the secretion is for the elephants in must. Well, it's it's quite a mix of things, but I think in general terms, it, there's a lot of proteins and testosterone that's being pumped through the animal system. So it's almost like they're constantly dripping urine and that urine content is going to be full of testosterone because they have an excess of it in their body and they produce a bit more when they are going into must just as a way it's pretty much like impala when they go into the rutting season they produce more male hormones that are going to drive them and the, where the sexual drive is going to override pretty much any other need for the animal oh my goodness it's hiding now behind the tree <laughs> 